The OUSPACE program is an outreach trauma treatment service and it works with children who are in out of home care, that are in foster care placement, kinship care or alternate care arrangement and we offer a service where the practitioners go out into the home or into the care environment and provide therapy to children who have had placement instability. My name's Dakota, I'm 14, I'm Riadri and Camillo and I'm a, my Tatum's a going on. Uh, my name's Mike and I'm looking after Dakota and um, his brother, Tyson. Dakota was a very reserved child with no trust, so he'd have his hat pulled down over his eyes so you couldn't see him. He'd listen to what you'd say, but he wouldn't actually engage with you. And eventually, I had to get him to trust me. And then once we got over those barriers of trust and building that relationship with him, he was more open to work with me as a therapist. We are funded through Their Futures Matter and we also have a partnership with an organisation called NARA and that's located down the south coast of New South Wales and Dr Nairi Brown heads that up and consults with us. So our space program is for Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal families. We also work with multicultural and diverse communities throughout New South Wales. Um, it's, it's helped him settle into life from Lake Congelico into a, a more um, city area. It's helping him with his, his trauma from the past by for Dakota to acknowledge that he has trauma from the past. Children most effectively recover from trauma when safety is featured. Unsafe relationships create trauma and safe ones heal it. Our therapeutic specialists focus on building safe and trusting relationships. Often children that we work with have more than 10 placements in their short lives and we want them to see that there are safe adults that can be trusted. Working with um, our spaces opened up Dakota to be exposed to um, more positive outcomes and, and attitudes. And um, it's uh, just helping him having uh, an outside party, just not myself and, and his brothers, to um, talk with. Oh, I caught a, I got a car down here and I went to stay at my auntie's house for a couple of days. And then I met Melissa. And then, yeah, I didn't like her for a bit. And then that's when I got to know her a bit more and then started to like her. Then I was ended up staying down here for a bit longer and then I ended up moving down here and then started going to school. So Mel's been really good, she's helped um, put in structures for Dakota to help him with his anxiety and his um, transition into school. Um, she's always available a phone call or a text message. Um, she rings quite often and either myself or she'll just ring Dakota to see how he's going. Um, so no, she's been really good, really positive, always smiling and happy and just always positive about what she's doing with Dakota and myself. We can't do this work with Aboriginal families without responding to them in a culturally strong way. We want to walk together. Aboriginal families need support that feels safe and includes consultation and understanding so we provide them with the best and most appropriate response. She's fitting into um, the new environment like first time with his actually living with us Tyson his brother so that's all new and exciting for him and he, he is loving that he's got a pretty positive outlook on life he has a career in retail in mind what makes me really proud about Dakota is that when from the child that I first met that was going spiraling out of control and going down the wrong pathways to the child now that wants an education and wants to be involved with the community and want to be connected with family. I turn my life around, go to school, play football, live with family, made new friends and, and feel like I'm grounded. <laughs>